Okay, this is week two uh, for CNS2003, understanding the installation of Windows Server 2019. This explanation will help you to do the first lab. Uh, the first uh, slide here is talking about the partitioning scheme. Of course, the old partition is uh, MBR, and when we will do the lab, I will talk about this subject. Okay, more. Okay. Uh, now there are, when you boot your hard drive, there are different options, how you can get into the installation. And you can choose, you want to boot from the hard disk, you want to boot from USB, you know, you know how to get into this. Some laptops you need to press F8 or delete. Okay. For our lab, we will use the cloud and we will use Microsoft Azure cloud. Okay. Some installation of Windows Server can go through the network. So you will boot the device. Let's say you have 100 computers in your company. So that you don't need to go to each computer and install the USB. No, you can do it through the network. We call this network installation, automated installation. Of course, you should have good bandwidth to do that. To access the advanced startup options on your laptop, of course, this is different from laptop to laptop, okay? You can check on your laptop how's the order of boot up, uh, the recovery of your Windows, uh, of your operating system if something happened, okay? We will talk about this in the lab in more details. Accessing adv advanced startup options, okay, sometimes are needed to troubleshoot to access the advanced options. If you want to do some troubleshooting, something happened to your OS, you can go to these options, okay? Now, there are different types of Windows installation. There is the clean installation. This is the one we will do in the lab, the first one. There is also installation over a network. That's just the one I just explained using WDS. There is unattended installation. Yani you prepare the installation. You prepare the answer to the question. You know, when you are installing a software, it will ask you some questions. Where are you? What is your location? Which country? You know, so you prepare a file so that the Windows installation will take the file and do the installation automatically. We call this unattended installation. We have also in place upgrade. Yani I have an old operating system. I want to upgrade it. And then we have also migration. All right. Also, when you install Windows, you can choose, okay, uh, the installation option. Do you want to do Desktop experience, desktop experience is the full features with GUI, everything. Okay, so it will occupy more space on your hard disk. Or you want to do server core, server core, yani, uh, you will get only black screen, you need to put commands, so you have to know the commands. Okay, this is for the experts. And we have the nano server installation. Nano server, this is a replacement for server core that takes up far fewer hardware resources. Also, it has fewer updates and supports only 64-bit applications. It is administered remotely since it has also no login capabilities. Okay. We call this Nano. Nano server. So which one will show me the full-fledged GUI, everything, all the features, lower desktop experience. Okay, so we do a clean installation or bare metal installation. You can boot up the device from installation media, or you can just start your computer, then put the installation media or the image file. In the lab, we will use image file to install Windows Server. Okay, 
If you want to do an installation over the network, here they want to tell you that you need to use WDS tools to do that. But we are not going to do this in this course. Migration is when you want to, when you bring a new machine and you want to move the roles, features, data, everything into the new machine. We call this migration. Okay. And Windows Server 2019 supports uh, your existing application and they have a migration uh, WSMT feature. Okay. That will help you to do the migration. I told you about the unattended installation. You should have ADK and MDT. You should have answer file. You should have the MDT also. Okay. And uh, this is helpful, especially if you are doing installations for many computers or you want to do the installation after hours so that you don't interrupt your network bandwidth. Okay. Upgrade is when you want to, you have a server, it has an operating system, you want to upgrade it. Okay. You can run in place upgrade if you have uh, to server 2019. If the actual server runs server 2016 or Windows Server 2012 R2 or Windows Server 2008 R2. Okay. So Windows Server 2008 R2 can be upgraded to Windows Server 2019 in three consecutive upgrades. How? Yeah, you will go from 2008 to 2012, high one phase. Then from 2012 to 2016, second step, third step from 16 to 19. Okay. If you have Windows Server 2012, can be upgraded to Windows, Windows 2019 by going to Windows 16, then Windows 19, and two steps. Is it clear? Very good. Windows Server uh, uh, 2012 R2 and Windows Server 20, 2016 can be upgraded to Windows Server 19 in a single upgrade. And directly out of 2019. This saves time, correct? Now, when you install, when, and you will notice this, inshallah, when we do the lab, when we install Windows Server, directly after you do the installation, you have to do some tasks. We call them post-installation tasks. server. Okay. Such as to change the server name, and we will show you how to do this. And also, if you want to have a domain name also, uh, if you want to join a domain, Also, if you want to enable remote desktop, these are all the things that we should do after we install Windows Server, if we need them. Also, you set up your IP address. Once you install your Windows Server, you give it an IP address, static IP address. In Windows Server always, you need a static IP address, especially if it's going to be your DC, domain controller. You don't want to be the IP address to be changing. Then you can check for updates. If there are uh, any updates to the operating system, download them and install them straight away. Uh, also, you can turn off uh, Internet Explorer Enhanced Security. Okay. If needed. Also, you need to change the time zone, of course. Choose the time zone according to your location. 
All these steps will be done in the lab. And then to activate your Windows Server uh, experience, you can choose uh, in the properties section, click the highlighted, not activated if you need, if you have a code. If this is, we have purchased the operating system, they will give us a code. Then you put it here. The one we use is a trial version, so it will work for some time during the course, then we don't need it. Okay. Now, this is the summary. Please read the summary. Let me know if you have any questions. 